All right, folks. How's it going? Well, today's project is to try and diagnose what's going on with my Dragon floppy drive. Uh, I'll tell you this, what what has happened now. If you watch my previous videos, you probably seen that I bought this over a year ago, and I had never never tried it. Um, about three or four days ago, I plugged it in to the Dragon for the first time, and as soon as I plugged it into the electricity, it started making a weird buzzing noise. So I popped it open and when you put a disc in, the drive that spins the disc was working. So it was spinning the disc, but the actual head wasn't moving forward and backwards to read the disc. So I pulled it to pieces and freed up the, the the head was actually once I initially moved the head it was it felt like it was stuck. So I got it freed up and greased it and stuff and it still wouldn't work. Um looking closely at the stepper motor that controls the head if uh, it was when it was trying to move you could feel vibration in the stepper motor. So so I initially thought that the stepper motor was dead or jammed. So I messed about with it for a while testing voltages and farting about with it and I actually got it to work now at the time I had the internal drive out and set on its side um, and I got it to work and it was reading and writing to disk and then all of a sudden it just died completely dead nothing so I went over it and I had realised uh, that it had actually popped the fuse on the back of this there's a built in fuse that sits oh christ that's good for it uh, the fuse actually sits in here if you can see that just above where the plug the power lead goes in and below the switch this little uh, 250 milliamp fuse sits in here so it had popped that fuse so it didn't have any replacements so I ordered a a pack of five off eBay and they arrived popped the new fuse in, I actually tested the fuse first and it was working popped it in, plugged it in, turned it on and it popped the fuse straight out of it uh, so there was absolutely no signs of life again, it just popped the fuse so I have no idea what's going on with this, whether maybe a capacitor has went bad uh, due to, you know, with it being used uh, something has shorted and it something has broken obviously um, so I'm going to pull it apart here again and see if I can diagnose how far the power is getting through it um, check the voltages and stuff of where I had a look at the circuit board in this and it's all marked so there's several different voltages running through this uh, I can't remember off the top of my head I think it was like 21 volt 12 volt and 5 volt uh, I'll I'll confirm that once I open it up again here but I'm actually on my mobile at the minute with some very clever people on uh, Mark Fixes stuff on his Facebook page so I basically posted up this is today's project is to, <laughs> to pull this thing apart uh, crying out for moral support basically uh, so hopefully uh, you know with their help I'll be able to figure out what is going on with this thing and what I need to replace or fix. Uh, I don't know where it's uh, possibly a capacitor has failed or there's there's actually four voltage regulators in this thing so it's possibly one of them has failed or the, the transformer itself is a huge big transformer in the back of this but once I get it open here I'll give you a closer look at everything okay so we're inside the beast here um, this is the the transformer here it's a huge big bugger and um, the voltages come come from the transformer and pass into this circuit board here which has uh, four voltage regulators across the top of it which are all heat synced and the voltage or the, the leads the cables come out of there and go to the back of the actual floppy itself 
So, like I said, the fuse keeps popping in this, so I don't know how I'm going to test how far the voltages are going because as soon as I put a fuse in it, it's going to pop it straight out of it again. So, all I can do is maybe test the switch, make sure there's no shorts around this uh, on off switch at the back here. Although it feels pretty solid, it doesn't feel like there's any internal breaking, breaking, breakage inside the switch. So when I got this thing to work, I had actually lifted this whole internal part out and I had it sitting on its side and I was like f testing the, the, trying to test the voltages going to the stamper motor and stuff and all of a sudden it started working and then all of a sudden it died. So I've really no idea what the hell is going on with this. Okay, so I have uh, removed the circuit board and also removed that uh, metal shield that was going over the transformer there. So I was wrong about what I said about the voltages. Um, it's actually just two 5 volts and two 12 volts. So that's, uh, I thought one of them said 21 for some reason. So there's two 12 volts, two 5 volts and the rest of them are 0 volts. On the bottom of the transformer I have four wires coming out. So one will be ground or two will be ground and two will be 5 volts I assume. Of these two huge capacitors here which are pretty low voltage, one 25 volt and the other one 16 volt. A couple of smaller capacitors, they all look okay, no sign of leakage. And there's these things, whatever they are, I don't know, diodes, transistors, resistors, they're pretty heavy duty looking, whatever they are. <laughs> Alrighty then, so it's uh, several hours later uh, and it is fixed so firstly I'd like to give a huge thanks to Ash Evans and Mark Payne uh, from Mark Fixes Stuff's uh, Facebook page uh, especially Ash Evans who took quite a bit of time out of his day to help me diagnose what was wrong with this thing and pretty much the transformer is dead um, I have if you can see the, the wires poking out there so I have actually disconnected the power board oh, I'll just grab it here disconnected the, the power board from the power supply and that I plugged it in and it was uh, still popping fuses so the transformer has an internal short so it's basically scrap uh, I, I'm not sure if there's anything wrong with this it did test over it and everything seemed to test out okay so I will keep that uh, just in case for some time in the future but what I've actually done was uh, if you, I'm using this uh, generic power supply which actually came with a, a SATA to USB uh, kit and it has a 4 pin Molex connector on the end uh, just plugged into the back of the drive itself there so we've done that and it's working perfectly it's reading and writing to the disc and uh, yeah once you got uh, past the point of figuring out exactly what was dead in this thing so yeah long story short that's what it was I'll just uh, power the dragon on here uh, let me find my buttons so I have a couple of silly wee basic programs that I wrote the disk there so I do my directory command and and there's the programs there. So if I uh, 
run oops run and that's it loaded from disk just a quick little basic program there so if I break out of that and uh, do directory again so yeah working a hundred percent typing with my left hand <laughs> no. Hey, no noise, it'll get on your nerves. Uh, yeah, <laughs> when the dragon's playing music, uh, if you could call it music. It's basically using uh, all its processing power, so you have to try and hit the brake key in the split second between it stopping playing music and starting to play music again. Is when you get a chance to use the keyboard because when it's uh, running music like that, it actually takes away the, the ability to use the, the keyboard. So yeah, that's the most annoying program in the world. <laughs> But again, it's just a test. Okay. So yeah, sort of. So what I have to do now is pull this transformer out because it's scrap. And what I'm going to actually do is hack this power supply apart and put it in the space in here. So I'm going to actually try my best to uh, keep the switch intact so that I can uh, I'm going to try and pass, you know, we're going to plug this kettle lead into the normal part at the back of this and then have the electricity passing through hopefully these two wires here and then just into this so from the outside it will look and operate as if it's stuck but on the inside it will have a more modern albeit cheap Chinese power supply but at least it work, it'll work so again, huge uh, shout out, a uh, huge shout out, and thank you to Mark Fixes Stuff and Ice Evans. Um, yeah, really appreciate your help, guys. I would never have been able to figure this out without you. So I'm learning every minute. Uh, yeah, all this stuff pretty much over my head, and some of the stuff that you know Ice was typing. Was, it might as well have been typing in Chinese because I didn't understand it so I had to politely ask him to put it in layman's terms <laughs> alright guys uh, that's about it for this video um, I'll probably make another video of hacking this apart and putting it into the space at the back here there's loads of room so I don't foresee any difficulties in doing that it's just going to be lots of hot glue used I'm sure Thanks for watching guys, catch you in the next one, bye for now.